First look at Reloaded OS based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Reloaded OS based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Now, I am running the build from 16th of September on my device and all hardware is working absolutely fine on this build, which includes Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, hotspot, Bluetooth audio, and Volt also works absolutely fine. The only thing which might be of concern to you is that SE Linux for now is set as permissive. Another thing, at the time of recording this video, this ROM is based on AOSP because sources to CAF haven't been pushed out yet. Now, you do get the Android 11 Easter egg which we just saw and you also get the new power menu and also note that you have a new cat controls game in the Android 11 Easter egg. We do have a separate video about that which you can find in the description of this video. Now the build does come with pixel launcher out of the box and I have also installed the full version of Nix Google Apps on this build and bam here it is pixel launcher in the building you can swipe to access your Google feed there it is scrolling is lag free and let us have a look at our recents one more time there it is everything is super fast and you also have the option of screenshot and select so let us try out select first bam there it is you can see that all the text was highlighted and now i can press and hold and just copy the text and if i close bam everything is smooth next up let us try to take a screenshot there it is screenshot taken successfully and you can now share it right from your preview and you also have the option of pinning certain applications to your quick share menu long press on the app pin messages bam there it is the messages application is now pinned you can tell that by the pin besides the m next up we have the volume panel which is also compact now so here it is if you expand your volume panel you can see that it is compact as compared to android 10 and in android 10 you had volume written over here in android 11 you have the word sound next up you can have a look at our quick settings panel bam there it is yes you do get the new media controls in your quick settings and as you can see i was playing some piece of music let us play it one more time and as you can listen it is playing on my bluetooth speaker now the beauty of this is that if i tap over here i can change the output so now the music or the song is playing from my phone speaker and it works absolutely fine and of course live caption also works on this build but we are going to have a demo of that later in this video back to our quick settings if you tap on the edit icon you can of course drag and drop these different quick setting tiles to your current options and you also have a screen recorder baked in as well so this is the screen recorder now with this screen recorder you do have the option of recording device audio and microphone at the same time the only downside right now is that once the screen recording starts the system does become a bit laggy and jittery so as you can see it's not as smooth as before and again do note that these are the initial builds of android 11 and things are going to only improve from here and you can of course tap to stop and then you're going to get a notification as to what you want to do with this recording either you can share it or delete it i just prefer to delete it for now next up we can go into settings and check out the new customizations of android 11. we'll go into network and internet select our wi-fi name select it one more time and bam you have the new option of disconnect in the center and if you tap on advanced you have a toggle to enable or disable auto connect to a wi-fi network and you can do this for all the Wi-Fi networks to which you have ever connected. Now, before you ask me, Hotspot is working on this build. Next up, we can go into apps and notifications. And before you start using this ROM, I do recommend that you go into default apps and make sure that 
your default apps are set properly. So for starters, we can go into see all apps and let us say we select the camera app. Then we can go into permissions. Over here, you will find that you have a new toggle which says remove permissions if app isn't used. So you can enable this for you know applications which you don't use too frequently so that they do not do anything shady in the background now. An important piece of information missing from Google over here is that what is the time limit once you enable that toggle for the permissions to be revoked. If you have an answer for that, do let me know via comments below. Next up, you have priority conversations. So yes, you can set up priority conversations from your notification shade. And if you go into notification, you also have notification history. There it is. You can see that this is my notification history. You do have to enable it and you can also access your notification history from your notification shade. Here it is. You can see that we have the option of history and you also have a master toggle to enable or disable bubbles which is similar to facebook messenger chat heads next up we can go into battery so yes you have battery saver battery manager and the option of enabling your battery percentage in the status bar moving over to display you do have adaptive brightness you also have a toggle to enable or disable dark theme and with android 11 you can also schedule your dark theme to turn on and off at a specific time other than just having the option of sunset and sunrise if you go into the wallpapers app select styles and wallpapers you will see that you only have the option of wallpapers the option of styles has been removed and that is because google is pushing out an update to the wallpapers app now there is a workaround for this and the workaround is to flash the pixel pack for android 11 which is linked in the pinned comment on this video and then do not update the wallpapers app and turn the updates for that application off in the play store and you should be able to access your styles and pixel themes and you will also get pixel live wallpapers as well then you have the option of screen timeout changing your font display size screensaver going into lock screen enable the toggle for always show time and info in case you want to have always on display on your poco f1 there it is working like a boss do note this will result in battery drain so you have to keep that in mind and the fingerprint scanner also works absolutely fine there it is we just unlocked our device along with that you also have double tap to wake and this option also works absolutely fine of course it's not going to work if aod is enabled so i do have to press the power button and let me first turn off always on display so now that aod is turned off we can double tap and bam there it is wakes up like a boss working absolutely fine and you can check the fingerprint scanner one more time super fast and everything is super smooth next up we can go into sound so in sound you do have the new do not disturb from android 11 wherein you can configure dnd &D on a people basis or on application basis or using your alarms then you also have the option of duration for quick settings and what i prefer to use is ask every time select ok and now if I enable my DND from the quick settings, it is going to ask me when do I want to turn it off. So do I want to turn it off when I turn it off or I can also, you know, enable my DND for a specific time using this option. And of course, I can increase or decrease the number of hours using the plus and the minus sign. So this option over here is something which I find very nifty. Other than that, you also have live caption it does work absolutely fine now the option of nearby songs is not working on this build as of now then nothing much to talk about in storage privacy and location in security we already talked about the fact that fingerprint scanner is working you do not have face unlock on this build right now then you have digital well-being and parental controls moving over to system you do have the option of gestures now with android 11 you have only two gesture options available so either you use the full screen gestures or you can use the old school three button navigation you do not have android 9.0 pi gestures baked in anymore and the gestures are working absolutely fine as you can see there are no jitters no lags everything is 
super smooth on this build going back into system and once you enable developer options you will have the option of wireless usb debugging along with a toggle to disable adb authorization timeout and if you scroll down you can also display your refresh rate now which is your fps counter and as you can see on the top left we do have 60 which is the refresh rate for the poco f1 now in terms of the camera application this rom comes with the snapdragon camera out of the box however i have linked a gcam port in the pinned comment on this video and this is the one from sanity it does work absolutely fine on this build and as you can see i did open the app another new feature which you get with android 11 is one time permissions only so as you can see i have this option in the middle which says only this time so you can allow one time permissions to applications and here it is the gcam port from sanity you can see there's no lag in the ui and most of the features which i checked are working absolutely fine next up we can check youtube and let me play a video of mine so that i do not get any copyright strike or anything like that and as you can see live caption is working absolutely fine let us also try screen rotation and here it is full screen mode we are viewing it in full screen everything works absolutely fine no jitters no lags pinch to zoom also works live caption on deck with no issues to report at all and we can also go to our home screen here it is you do get picture in picture with youtube premium and with android 11 you can also resize this picture in picture window this is the maximum size it will go to and this here is the minimum size so picture in picture also works absolutely fine along with live caption next up we can talk about safety net so safety net does not pass if your device is not rooted however once you root your device enable magisk hide from settings and then safety net is going to pass which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues now the version of magisk which you should use for android 11 is again linked in the pinned comment on this video do not use magisk version 20.4 it is going to give you a boot loop so what is the final take on this build well for starters we should be more than happy and thankful to the developers that we have a pretty stable android 11 aosp rom for the poco f1 most of the hardware if not all of it is working absolutely fine with no issues the only two things which i see of concern to some of you would be ir face unlock and se linux being permissive other than that there is no extra or excessive battery drain and another issue is that the rom does get a bit laggy when you start the screen recorder which i think should be fixed down the line so all in all a pretty stable and good build and those of you who want to try android 11 on your poco f1 this build is more than good enough oh and before i forget you also have the gaussian blur effect when you access your notifications or your quick settings there it is you can see that the background is blurred out and if i swipe up you will see the zoom effect also kick in so this is also something new which has been added with android 11 and there it is peeps that was our first look at reloaded os working like a boss with super smooth gestures and animations on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you